afternoon and welcome to the beautiful Chiron here in the southwest of France. It has not been like this very long, uh, for about half an hour I think. Uh, yeah, we've just had so much rain, it's just been unbelievable. Um, gonna have a little chat, a little wander and a chat, but um, yeah, I'll show you what I've been up to. I've been doing a few odd jobs. Do you remember the other day I talked about a peony that I had next to the next to the house? Uh, well, I, I plucked up the courage to move it. So that looks pretty good in there and I will be pretty upset if it dies but um, there's always a bit of a risk in doing things like that and you know I like to move stuff around um, but yeah I did actually make a little video well not a video I took about 30 photographs of that peony growing last year trying to do a time lapse and it failed miserably hence you didn't see it um, but yeah once that's in flower that is absolutely magnificent and I did happen to get a couple of freebies that fell off when I was digging it up so um, yeah hopefully I might have tripled my peony um, so I'm gonna have a little wander have a little chat so I was uh, contacted by an older fella 
who uh, having a few health issues and uh, he asked me to uh, help him out and um, my new mower blade arrived the other day The sun is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely fantastic. The weather this week is looking much better than it has done. Still a bit of rain around. Um, yeah, so much rain, there's flooding in towns all over the place. And um, yeah, really, it's really, really, really bad. And um, I was asked to help uh, this guy, or well, he asked for some help, and to have a little chat about people uh, because uh, I agreed to help him out and uh, he's got quite a big garden probably about an acre and a acre and a half and um, I looked at his garden and I said yeah should be able to do that in about three hours uh, no <laughs> uh, nine hours later well about seven hours of strimming and mowing later his garden looks okay and uh, he was in a spot of bother and he'd normally look after it himself he's not a well fella and it kind of got me thinking as I was mowing, I had plenty of time to think. The good thing about mowing is that you do get time to think about things. And I've had quite an interesting few days, I've got to say. So um, I kind of got to thinking, am I a good person? Do you ever ask yourself that? Are you a good person? Um, so yeah, I spent seven hours doing a job that I thought would take me three hours. A job that I quoted, <laughs> quoted. To do in three hours uh, it turned out to be yeah a job that I kind of did for nothing um, although he was very grateful and sometimes someone's gratitude is all you really need isn't it sometimes you, you only need someone to say thank you and that's all you need as payment isn't it really just want to say thank you to all my amazing viewers and subscribers and all of those that leave comments under my videos I do get some great comments I've got one comment that I really could make a whole video about and I might because it could be a bit of fun um, but I did get someone say to me um, that I was massacring the inside of my house <laughs> and I did kind of think that was uh, funny and I try and take you know comments like that quite light-heartedly um, but really what I do love is when people say you know thanks for making a video because you know quite a lot of effort goes into uh, making these videos and um, yeah it's nice just to get a thank you and I think don't you think sometimes you just when you get a thank you from someone or you did a good job or you know just a compliment or just someone being nice to you um, it just lifts you up and it makes things worthwhile um, what do you call those people or well, is there a name for the people let me know in the comments. Is there a name for people that only have you in them, their lives if you're a utility to them? You know, you think they're friends, they kind of behave like friends, but really the only reason you're in their life is because you have a utility, you're useful. And when you say no to them, or if you're busy and you can't help them out, and they sort of delete your number, what do you call those people?
So, uh, how do you identify a good person? I was doing this mowing for hours and hours and hours. And as much as I knew, I wasn't earning anything out of it really. <laughs> it was covering my fuel, wear and tear, and the cost of my new blade. <laughs> um, yeah, I had plenty of time to think about what a good person is. So uh, yeah, I'd love to know your, um, your ideas. Put them down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, I came up with a theory that a good person is someone who does good for other people. And I think the other people is, mind where you're going, Mark. Uh, yeah, doing good for other people is the key. Not other things like, you know, if I was to polish my car, that doesn't make me a good person. Or if I was to clean my windows, that doesn't make me a good person. Or if I was to look after animals, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm a good person. Uh, but when you look, off, look out for other people, I think that is the definition of being a good person. Because I think sometimes you, could, you can convince others that you're a good person, but really you're just, you're just selfish. You're just a narcissist. Um, yeah, you can pretend that what you're doing is for the good of others, but really it's only for the good of you. You know, like you're just a, a narcissist, a kind of egomaniac, and you've convinced other people that you're good, but really you're just extremely selfish and awful and uh, a good manipulator. And um, I've got a fantastic um, bullshit sort of regulator, do you know what I mean? I could spot it a mile off. And yeah, I'm quite good at spotting a narcissist. Those people that make you feel like you're amazing, but really, what they really think is you're a moron. And yeah, I, I've, I've got quite a good detector for that. And uh, yeah, these people are not good people because they don't do good for other people. They only look out for themselves. What do you think about people like that? I think they should be, I think they should be outed, don't you? I think they should be pointed out um, that they're, yeah, that they're disgusting and they're users. And uh, yeah, they're not good people as much as they might like you to think that they are. Yeah, I'd love to hear some comments from you. Bit of an unusual video, had some things on my mind while I was mowing this old fella's lawn. And one of the things he said to me, which upset me, kind of upset me, he said to me, um, he came to give me some money. He said to me, let me give you that before I die. And I just looked at him, I was like, oh, why did you say that? He said, oh, I'm not well, I'm not well, you're saying. And I was like, oh, that's just terrible. And I thought, that is really sad, isn't it? And I thought to myself, I'm taking money off this fella. I did spend hours and hours and hours helping him. And I thought, yeah, I feel bad taking the money, but <laughs> you know, I've got a living to earn, haven't I? Bills to pay. Anyway, a bit of an unusual video. See you later.